Okay, so the Pathonotary Office. I'm dealing with the Pathonotary Office as usual again this morning. So Diana, who works for the Superior Court in Westmoreland County Office, supposedly, now she told me when I talked to her on Wednesday that she just straight up told me she did nothing with my other four appeals and she did not file them. She did not send them to the Superior Court, nor have they sent any of my correspondence to the Superior Court. So she admitted that, and it, I have I have proof here, and it should be on my file, even though, just like my one attorney's, the contempt motion was never put in my file, never time stamped until I caught it like six months later, and had them time stamp it and put it in my file for whatever it's worth. Um, and now the same thing is happening again. So I see on iGems that five of my appeals, only one has been filed correctly with Superior Court, and that was the first one, the recusal. The other four, so only three of the five appeals were timestamped on iGems, which, and then the other two were not timestamped on iGems at all. And Superior Court has not received any of my correspondence, has not received any of my other four appeals from the Westmoreland County Prothonotary Office. So I was there Friday, supposedly Diana was not working. I called today um, to see if Diana is working um, because I talked to Bobby Joe Wagner at the Prothonotary Office this morning and she says she has still has not received anything from Bobby Joe Wagner, a Weaver, I'm sorry, she still has not received anything from Diana, Bobby Joe Wagner at the Superior Court, even though I talked to them all on Wednesday and they said they had this all worked out. So I called today. I asked for Diana. They said the guy, the only guy that works in the Pathonotary office at Westmoreland County, told me that, and he was like talking to her, like, she's, she's off. I'm like, she's off today. I'm like, okay, so she's off again today. When is she coming back? He's like, uh, tomorrow. I'm like, okay, well, I need to speak with Diana's boss. So they put me on the phone with some lady named Lori. So Lori, um, I need like a class action lawsuit attorney like immediately. So Lori um, is now looking into this. She, this is the first she heard. The best thing she said to me was I told her that Diana admitted to not filing any of it and just dropping the ball and doing nothing, and she did, and she's supposedly taking care of that now. Um, she said, Miss Lori says she highly, she doesn't believe that anybody in her office would ever admit to a mistake, and I just, wow, that is just the truest statement I've ever heard, but she did. She did admit to a mistake, and we're looking at the mistakes right here in black and white, and I need them fixed today. So hopefully they'll get him fixed because I'm getting ready to file another motion to reconsider the squash, and I need this done right. I need this done right. They, these pathonotary workers should not be working in a court of law if they are going to be violating people's due process rights and not able to do their job to where it has to go all the way to Supreme Court for a writ of mammatus, which is what happened with Bobby Joe Wagner. And I'm willing to do that here because this is unacceptable. This is completely unacceptable. It's corruption at its finest.